first of all, thank you so much to Park Street for uh, this invitation. And thank you so much for all of you to be here. Okay, let's start. I, w I don't have a lot of time. And you see, what about we speak today? I make a fast introduction of myself. My name is Giacomo Sai. I'm the business development manager of Liquid Up. Liquid Up is a, a beverage agency. And we serve, uh, we do a lot of services. Branding, content, experience, strategy, and export. All these services are for the liquid brands. We make photos, videos. We work with the well-known bartenders in all around the world. We make social medias, export for brands. We open a lot of markets for our clients. And also we do events. And we are here in these days with Ilva Sarono and managing the, the booth in the Halle 18. Okay. We are speaking about partnership with influencers. Why influencers are so important? I make you a couple of questions. What a brand is look for with a partnership with influencer? Why a brand have to do a partnership with influencer? For endorsement, exposure, but in 2023, exposure is made with, for sure, social media. Social media are so important because a brand is looking for, for influencers with a lot of followers in our industry. And the result of exposure and endorsement is a connection with the target audience. For sure, influencers of beverage as a target audience that you see all around here in the bar show and in the bar industry. So you see here some examples of Daniela Della Pola, Masterclass, a Tiki Masterclass, and the social media page of Daniele. How an uh, influencer can be involved by a brand? Drinks creation, image for brand endorsement, exclusivity, social media stories, masterclass and guest bartending. A lot of activities by, by influencers can do it. But for sure, a brand has to do a financial con considerations. Because every activity has a cost for sure. And not all the brands have a huge budget because every content that the influencer make have a cost. Every content creation, every, the images rights, exclusivity, social media exposure, the day fee, and the travel and expenses. Because if you take, for example, an influencer here at Berlin from US or Australia or another country, the cost could be very high. And to think about to involve the right influencer for your activity. For sure, we are here in a trade show, and a partnership with an influencer has to be a commercial implication. Increased brand awareness, exposure to a wider audience, authentic content, and engagement. A lot of brands here at the trade show have influencers at their stage, at their booth, but also the content in the social media can bring new clients to your booth, and new clients may be a new importer, a new client for your brand and have an increase of sales. This is the final result that the brand wants with the partnership with the influencer. Obviously, not all the brands have a huge budget and have to consider a lower budget ideas. For sure, involve influencer with a lower reach, involve a junior team of members of influencer bars, maybe not the head bartender, not the bar manager, but maybe the, the bartender or the junior bartender, involve local influencers. If you have a brand from a specific region, from a specific nation, you can involve an influencer from your city, from your state, from your region. Organize partnership with other brands. You, if you have maybe a brand of gin, a brand of bitter, you can make a partnership between the two brands, okay? Or if you have a gin with a tonic brand, or if you have gin with a bitter or a vermouth brand, and you can also share the expenses for the influencers. In my opinion, there is four categories of influencers in our industry, okay? There is the brand ambassador, is the first influencer of the brand. And also a lot of brands is looking for brand ambassador with a huge number of followers on Instagram. But the brand ambassador is the first influencer of the brand because work every day and live every day with your brand. Second category, the working bartenders. Working bartenders are the bartenders that work every day in the bar. 
and put your brand in the menus. You have here an example of Alex Cratina and a, and a, and a collaboration with one of our clients. Third category, digital bartenders. Digital bartenders, as the bartenders, they make specifically co um, content in social media. Nice photos, nice videos, make, I guess, bartending, make the Instagram stories, post of the events that they will do. But don't work in a specific bar. Fourth category, category influencer. This is an example with Mr. Schumann's that have, is, I think, so the most important white jacket bartender. But uh, there is a lot of categories in our industry. If you think about there is tiki bartenders, there is hotel bartenders, a lot of category. And if your brand have a specific idea of marketing, you can choose a specific category influencer. If you have rum, you will go in a tiki bartenders. If you have a nice gin for martinis, you will go to a white jacket, and that's it. Last but not least, mentors. Mentors like Salvatore Calabrese, the maestro, or Peter Dorelli, okay? People that made the history of the bar and maybe can share history, the history of the, our industry. And for sure, they have the biggest awareness in the world for our 